If you clicked on this video, chances are you're looking to get into self-filming your hunts. And let me tell you right now, you are in the right place. I've been self-filming my hunts for about four years now, and I've gradually progressed my setup through the years. And in that process, I always watch videos on YouTube to try and help me determine what would be the best gear for me. There would be someone that would make a video for someone who was looking for a $100 budget, and there'd be someone who made a video for someone looking for something like a $5,000 budget because they're making these crazy, insane professional videos. What I'm gonna try to do in this video is kind of eliminate all that searching. I'm gonna try and put all the information you need in this video to get started and get out in the field no matter what your budget is. We've got budgets all the way from $30 ranging all the way to $7,000 and I'm going to go through all of those in this video. I will leave the timestamps down below for each individual budget so you can skip to whatever budget you're looking for but I would also recommend watching the budgets before that as well because there will be cheaper options to certain things and you may decide you want to save money in that category and put that money towards something else. You can mix and match all these pieces of equipment say you're going to kind of follow along with the $500 budget. Well there might be something in the $7,000 budget that you think you can afford and put into that budget to help better your videos. So let's go ahead and get started with the $30 budget. And as you can see, I have it right here in front of me. For $30, you can have this right here. It is the bare essentials of what you would need to film your hunts. You have a $20 camera arm and you have an $8 mount for your phone, which is what you would be recording your hunts with. Obviously for $30, you're not gonna be getting a good camera. So the majority of us do have a good phone. So all you would need to do is take your phone, put it on this little mount right here, it unscrews and it clamps down onto your phone. And the links for all of this will be in the description below so you guys can go and get this for yourself. But you screw this down tight, clamp your phone on there so you can move this around. If you've got a deer right down here below you, you can tilt it down there to you. And it is not the smoothest thing in the world. It's, it's pretty jittery and that's what you're gonna get for 20 bucks. But this is what I started out filming my hunts with and it got the job done. It, it does what it needs to do. Um, it's not the highest quality stuff, but it does get the job done at the end of the day. And if you're not hunting in tree sand, you can go ahead and swap this out for a cheap tripod that you can probably get at Walmart or I'll have a link to one in the description on Amazon. But this is the $30 budget and then the next budget is gonna be $100. So for the $100 budget, we're gonna be upgrading our camera arm right here to the Muddy Basic camera arm. Now, I personally do not own this, but it is a very big upgrade from this. You're gonna get a lot more smooth motion and you're gonna get a lot bigger extension out in front of you so that you can cover more range. But for this budget, you're gonna be using that Muddy Basic arm, which comes in at around $50. You're still gonna be using your phone to record these hunts. For $100, you're not gonna get a camera better than the one that's on your phone. So you're gonna upgrade your arm to the Muddy Basic camera arm, and you're also going to get a tripod with a fluid head for $50. So with this, this gives you the flexibility to hunt in trees and also hunt in ground blinds and be able to film your hunts for both. Now the $500 budget is where we're gonna get into some stuff that will really allow you to make some good quality videos. So for this budget, you're actually gonna be able to purchase a camera. I know, that's crazy, isn't it? The camera that you're gonna to wanna to get is the Canon Vixia HF R52. Now right here, I have the Canon Vixia HF R800, which is about $200 more than the camera I just mentioned. And I've compared these cameras side by side, all the specs, they are literally the exact same camera. I don't even know why I bought this one. I should have bought the other one instead because it is $200 cheaper and it does the exact same thing. So I would recommend the Canon Vixia HF R52. This camcorder records in 1080p 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second as well. So if you need to slow that footage down and get some slow motion, you can get that out of this camera. And the zoom on this camera is insane. So here's what it looks like and this is all the way zoomed out. And as soon as I start zooming in, you're gonna see how far in you can go. We're gonna go in on that bench right there. We're all the way zoomed in. You can see the quality is still pretty good. It gets kind of shaky when you're all the way out there, but we're gonna zoom all the way back out and just give you a perspective of how good the zoom is on this camera. So this camera is what I've used in the past to film all my hunts. It's not a great B-roll camera. It's what I use to record the kill shots and just film animals that are a long ways away. And it does a great job of doing that. The next thing for this budget is we're gonna be upgrading our camera arm once again. Right here we have the Muddy Outfitter arm. It is a very big upgrade from the other two. And this camera arm comes in at $110. It allows you to extend out much further. You have a lot more reach and it is very smooth. It does not come with a fluid head. So you're gonna have to go ahead and purchase this fluid head separate. This fluid head is going to allow you to get very smooth videos. It's going to allow you to pan back and forth and it comes in at $65. The next thing we're going to look at for this $500 budget is a microphone. Good audio in your videos is just as important as the quality of the video itself. This camera does have a mic port. It does not have a hot shoot mount. The hot shoot mount is what allows you to put the microphone on top of the camera. Why they would make a microphone port and not have a hot shoot mount, I don't know. I don't work for Canon. That's something you're going to have to ask them. But since we're working on a budget here, we're going to have to figure something out for ourselves. So what I've done is I have taken some super glue and I've super glued a hot shoot mount that you can get for like five bucks on top of it. So we've got that and we've got the Tackstar SGC 598. 
It is a very good shotgun mic and it comes in at only $30. So the next thing we're gonna get for our $500 budget is an action camera. Now, a lot of people, when they think about self-filming their hunts, their first instinct is that they need to buy a GoPro. And I will be the first to tell you that that is wrong. Personally, I'm not a big fan of GoPros. I don't even own a GoPro. I just use a cheap action camera that records in 1080p and it gets the job done for me. So this one was probably 50 bucks and I'm gonna link one in the description that is 70 bucks. I like to use a mount that screws into the tree and and I place it above me for a good second angle where I can have an angle that captures me and in front of me. So if I get lucky enough, I'll get an angle that captures me and the kill shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this above me and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So here's the quality that you're gonna get out of it. It's a very wide angle. It's not gonna have a very good microphone. That's why I've synced up the audio of this mic right here to give a better source of audio for the video. But if I go ahead and sit down in the stand, if I have it up there right, you should be able to see me as well as in front of me. You should be able to see me and see the camera that I'm filming on as well. So that gives you a good feel of what you can use an action camera for. The second thing I like to use action cameras for is if I'm ever in a situation where I need to put a stock on an animal that's 500 yards off in a field and I just don't want to take my camera and have to lug it around while I'm trying to be stealthy and not spook this animal. What I like to do is take the action camera and put it on a head strap. So what that allows you to do is go ahead and just put that on your head and you can just press record and you can go about your business and do what you need to do and not have to worry about lugging around all of this. So I'll link in the description uh, a head strap and one of these screw mounts for a tree and they're both probably around eight, nine bucks. So not very expensive, but they get the job done and allow you to do what you need to do. Also, since we went the cheap route for an action camera, the battery life is probably not gonna be very good on them. So when I have one above me, I like to carry around a portable charger with me and I will just plug it into that camera and just leave it there for the entire hunt. So I can just leave that camera roll and not have to worry about the battery dying. So you can pick up one of these for about 15 bucks on Amazon. It will also be linked in the description as well. So our next budget is gonna be $1,200. This is gonna be the setup that any of the past videos on this channel have been recorded with. So you can go watch those videos and see the type of quality videos that you can get out of this setup I'm about to show you. For the $1,200 setup, it is gonna be the exact same as the $500 setup, except you're gonna add this camera right here. Now this camera is the Canon G7X Mark II. It records in 1080p, uh, you can record in 35 frames per second and 60 frames per second. The G7X allows you to do what you need to do. Any B-roll in the past that you have seen on this channel, it has come from this camera. It is an absolute beast. The lens is an eight to 36 millimeters, so you can get that really wide shot and you can also zoom in and get a little closer on that subject. The video is outstanding. Uh, it takes great pictures as well if you're into photography. The only downside to this camera is it does not have a mic port, so you cannot attach an external microphone to this. But don't let that scare you because the mic that comes on this camera is not bad. And you can see I've put a little wind muff on it too to help out with that. The mic is not terrible. That's what a lot of the audio on this channel has been recorded with and it gets the job done. If you want to, if you're in the stand, you can record with this camera and you can also be recording with this camera and you can just sync up the audio from your Tackstar microphone when you're editing. So you can get a little bit better audio quality out of that. Also, what you're gonna add on the $1,200 budget is just one of these flex pods that allows you to put this camera on here. And what I like to do is if I'm in a tree stand that has a bar around me, I'll just put the camera on here and I will just twist this around one of the bars and that gives me a second angle and if you have your action camera up above you that gives you three angles but this tripod will just allow you to get a better handle on the camera in some situations and the g7x comes in at 630 dollars so it is pretty expensive but i promise you will not regret it and this tripod comes in at about 25 bucks so if you add that to the 500 dollars budget that puts you at about 1200 dollars so now let's go on to the next budget all right guys as you can tell we changed up the scenery a little bit i got really cold outside and the wind was really getting on my nerves and i was really scared that the audio was going to end up up not being very good. So we just did the $1,200 budget. The next budget is $2,100. So for this budget, instead of the cheap Canon camcorder, we're gonna go with something a little bit better. I personally do not own this camera, but I've read a lot of good things about it and I've seen hunting videos that were made with this camera. This camera is the Canon G50. The Canon G50 comes in right at around $1,000. So it is a lot more expensive, but it's gonna allow you to do much more. It's basically this Canon camcorder, but on crack. It is just much better. You're gonna get a lot clearer footage and I believe it does shoot in 4K 30 frames per second. Second. I'll fact check myself so if there's a thumbs up on the screen you know I'm right. I know it shoots in 1080p 60 frames per second just as this camera does as well but you're going to get a much bigger sensor and you're going to get a much better picture overall. You're going to get a lot more reach with your zoom. This camera is just going to allow you to really up your game when it comes to filming. Now since you've upgraded to this camera you're going to get to use something that's called a zoom control. What you can do with this is mount it on the handle of your fluid head and plug it into your camera and what this allows you to do 
is zoom in and out by pressing a button that is just on your thumb. This allows you to record one-handed. Not only can you zoom in and out, but you can also press record from this handle. This really helps you out when you're self-filming because you can have one arm over here zooming in and out and moving the camera. And over here, you can be grabbing your gun or your bow or whatever you need to be doing to get ready for the shot. Also in this budget, we're gonna be upgrading the camera arm again. I personally don't own this camera arm, but I would like to in the future, and that is a fourth arrow camera arm. And again, just a reminder, all the links to this stuff will be in the description so you can pick it up for yourself. But the fourth arrow camera arm is a lot lighter and more compact than the Muddy brand camera arms. You're gonna get about the same reach and cover about the same amount of ground, but it's just gonna be more compact. It's gonna take up less space in your backpack, and it's all around just gonna benefit you more. The fourth arrow camera arm comes in at about $230, and it does not come with a fluid head as well. So you're gonna have to go ahead and purchase that too. The one that I use works great. It's the one that I showed earlier in the video, and I'm sure it will pair up great with that fourth arrow arm. Also in this budget, we're gonna be getting that same $70 action camera. We're still not gonna splurge on that GoPro because I think it better benefits us to put that money towards something else than splurging on that GoPro. So the same $70 action camera, the same head strap, the same screw mount for the tree. And again, in this budget, we're gonna stick with the Tac Star because it's $70 cheaper than upgrading to one of those Rode mics. So we're gonna stay with the Tac Star. It's great quality, it's what I've used forever. And again, in this budget, I'm gonna recommend that you pick up the G7X. I love this camera. The quality on this camera is unreal for the price. The G7X has an aperture of 1.8, so you can let a lot of light into this camera and get that blurry background if you need to. A lot of people will pay thousands of dollars just to have a lens like this to put on their big DSLR mirrorless camera. With this, you're paying a fraction of the price, not only for the lens, but for the camera itself. So you really cannot beat this. It shoots great B-roll. It's what I use in all the videos that you see on this channel. And again, I'm gonna recommend a flex pod like this to go with it. So you can take it like this, you can be vlogging, do stuff like this. This is a very good camera to vlog with. It's very compact. You can slip it right in your pocket and when you need it, pull it out, put it on here and you're good to go. And then of course you'll need a tripod just in case you're gonna be hunting in a ground blind or something like that. So I'll put a tripod in the description that's about 60 bucks and it's gonna come with a decent fluid head so you don't get all that shaky movement. All right, so that wraps up our $2,200 budget. The next budget is the $3,500 budget. Now this is where we get into where you can decide if you wanna stick with the camcorder or if you wanna go the DSLR or mirrorless camera route. So if you wanna go the mirrorless camera route and be able to change out your lenses and have a little bit more flexibility, I'm gonna to recommend to you the Canon EOS RP. The body itself comes in at about $1,000. It's a full frame camera, so you're not gonna be getting any of that crop when you put on a lens. It shoots in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and 30 frames per second as well. And it also shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second. I don't believe it shoots 4K 60, but it does give you that 4K 30 frames per second if you need it. Now to pair with this camera body, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend the Canon RF 24 to 240 lens. It comes in at $900 and it's the lens that you're watching this video through right now. I do not have the Canon RP body. I have its big brother, the R6, but what you would get out of the RP would look very similar to what you're watching right now. The 24 to 240 lens is gonna give you a lot of flexibility because right here I'm shooting at 24 millimeters. It's a very wide angle. The camera is literally right here. I can reach out and grab it, but I can zoom this all the way into 240 millimeters and I can get right up close to the subject that I'm trying to film. And I'll go ahead and show a few examples of that right now while I'm talking. So you can can kind of get a feel for how close in this lens will go. But also with your mirrorless or DSLR cameras, you're gonna be able to take great pictures. That's something that camcorders do not have the ability to do. You can take pictures on them, but they are not going to compare to a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. So one advantage of having a mirrorless camera is that photo and video flexibility. If you wanna shoot photos, you can shoot photos. If you wanna shoot 4K video, you can shoot 4K video. They're an absolute beast and you can do whatever you want with them. You can change out lenses if you need to, but the 24 to 240 gets it done for me. And it's really an all around good lens. You're still gonna get sharp photos Photos, you're still gonna get really good video and the quality is amazing. But if you don't wanna go the mirrorless camera route, you like having that camcorder where you can have that zoom control and not have to actually physically turn the lens to zoom in like you would on a mirrorless camera, then I'm gonna recommend to you for about the same price as the Canon RP and the 24 to 240 lens, the Canon XA60. It is an absolute beast of a camera. I don't own it myself, but I've researched it and looked at it and it is amazing. It shoots in 4K, 1080p, so you get all that good stuff. It has amazing zoom and it's really just going to outdo that Canon G50. It comes in at $1,800, so it's $800 more than that G50, but I think you would really be able to tell the difference. So for this budget, once you decide whether you wanna go the mirrorless route or stick with the camcorders, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to a Rode microphone instead of the Tac Star. It's about $70 more coming in at 100 bucks, but Rode is known for having great audio quality, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to that Rode microphone. Now, like I said, good audio is just as important as good video quality. So for this budget, not only are you gonna be getting the Rode mic, but you're also gonna to wanna to invest in a wireless microphone like I have on right now. So what this allows you to do, if I'm talking to you 
right here and I turn around, my voice never changes. It stays constant. Now, if I had a shotgun microphone on here, when I turn around and I'm talking away from the mic, it's not gonna pick it up as well because I'm projecting my voice that way. But with this, I've always got this right here under me. So it's always good audio. What I have right now is the Comica, I think Boom XD. This comes in at about $200. It's pretty expensive, but I promise it is really going to enhance the quality of your videos. So this whole video has been shot with the audio from this mic. This setup comes with one receiver and two transmitters. So the receiver is mounted to the top of my camera right now. And then the transmitters look like this. It comes with two of these. So I have one of them on right now. That's what you're hearing. They have a built-in microphone right there on the top. So you have the option to use that. You can clip it right here and just talk into that. But if you prefer a lav mic like I do, you can go ahead and just plug that in and run it up your shirt and clip it on right here. They work great. As soon as you turn them on, they're paired. So you don't have to worry about pairing them and all that. And it records the audio straight onto the video file that your camera records. So next for this budget, I'm going to recommend that instead of the Canon G7X Mark II, I'm going to recommend that you get the newest model, the Mark III. The Mark II is limited to just 1080p 60 frames per second, but the Mark III allows you to shoot in 4K 30, 4K 60, and also full HD at 120 frames per second if you want to get that really slow motion. The Mark III comes in at $750 compared to the $630 of the Mark II. So if you don't need that 4K or that really slow motion, then you can go ahead and save the money and just get the Mark II. If you're confused on why I continue to recommend this camera, I like this camera solely based on its versatility. If you need to, you can take photos, you can take videos, you can shoot some really good B-roll, but I like it mainly as a vlogging camera because carrying around a big DSLR, mirrorless camera, or your camcorder, they're just, they're big and they're chunky, but this camera you can just hold right in your hand and if you're needing to film yourself while you're walking and explain something, it's right there, you can pull it out of your pocket and you have it and you're ready to go. And you don't even see a decrease in quality. So next for this budget, again, I'm gonna recommend the fourth arrow arm. I just think it's a little bit better than the Muddy. Based on how compact it is, you can just fit it in your backpack a little better. Now for this budget, all you GoPro lovers, I know you've been waiting. This is when I'm going to recommend the GoPro. You've got a little bit more money and you might as well just go ahead and get that GoPro. I'm going to recommend the GoPro Hero 8. It's a little bit cheaper than the other options. I believe it does shoot in 4K. It's pretty self-explanatory from there. You can use it how you want. I showed you how I prefer to use my action cameras earlier, so you kind of got a feel for that. So again, I'm going to recommend you get a head strap and one of those mounts that screws into the tree. And if you chose to go the camcorder route, again, I'm going to recommend you get some kind of zoom control to give you more flexibility and just be able to film one-handed. Also, I keep forgetting we're going to add a tripod to this budget as well. You can never go wrong with a tripod. If you're hunting in a ground blind or if you're just doing something like this, like I am right now, you're just going to need one. So again, all this is linked in the description box down below. I'll have it broken down by, by which budget I'm talking about. So I'll make it pretty easy on you guys. So all you got to do is open that description and find the budget you need and it's all going to be right there. All right. So that was the $3,500 budget. We have one more budget and we're going to literally double the price. The last budget is $7,000 and this is what I recommend. Keep in mind everything I'm recommending is my personal opinion. What I'm recommending might not work best for you, but I'm just trying to give you a general idea of what routes you need to go. And obviously you can tell that I'm a little biased and I'm a huge fan of Canon cameras. I mean, my name is literally Canon, so Canon, please sponsor me. My name's literally Canon. I'm like the perfect person to sponsor. Just please, please. So to kick things off for the $7,000 budget, we're gonna kick it off with the camera that I'm filming right now. That is the Canon EOS R6. It comes in at about $2,300 for the body itself. I know it's crazy and I know it's expensive, but this camera is amazing. I absolutely love it. Obviously you're gonna get full HD. You're also gonna get that 120 frames per second in full HD. You're gonna get 4K 30 frames per second, 4K 24 frames per second, and 4K 60 frames per second. I believe there's also a way to shoot in 6K on this camera, which I personally will never use, but it's there if you need it. Like I said, Said earlier, I'm using the 24 to 240 lens that comes in at $900. It's an absolute beast. It's very flexible. You can get wide shots like this, or you can zoom in on a deer that's 100 yards away. For this budget, I'm going to recommend that you use this camera as your second camera, which sounds crazy, but I'm going to recommend that you use it for that. You can use it for B-roll, your second angle in your stand, all that stuff. You can have it up high, pointing down at you, stuff like that. But I'm going to recommend you use it more for just the B-roll side of things. Now, when you're filming deer and other animals and trying to get the kill shot, I'm going to recommend that you get that Canon XA60 as well to go with this camera. I think for the self-filming side of things, it is much better and it allows you to just zoom with one hand if you get that zoom control as well. Because if you're filming with this camera, you're gonna have to use two hands. You're gonna have to hold the camera and turn the lens to be able to zoom in on that subject. But with that camcorder, you can just press a button right there, just back and forth. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, press record, stop record, all with one hand. And you can do whatever you want with this hand. You can eat a sandwich, you can grab your gun, do whatever you need to do. So now that we've got the two main cameras out of the way, we're gonna talk more about audio. And I'm gonna say it again, audio is just as important as the video. So for this, we're gonna upgrade to a $150 Rode mic as compared to the $100 one from last time. Will you see a big change in quality? I don't know, I've never owned one, but since we're spending $7,000, we might as well spend the extra 50. So we're gonna get that $150 Rode mic. We're also going to get that $100 
a road mic because we have two main cameras now. So if you want to use a shotgun mic, you have it for both cameras. Then I'm going to recommend a wireless mic system like I showed you earlier. Kama Kaboom XD comes in at $200 and that's what you're listening to right now. It's amazing quality and it's going to really improve the quality of your audio. Then again, I'm a sucker for the Canon G7X series. So I'm going to recommend the G7X Mark III just to have it in your pocket for when you need that quick footage just to hold out, get that kind of vlog type of feel. And like I said, that comes in at $750. Then again, I'm going to recommend the fourth arrow camera arm. I think it's a little bit better than those muddy camera arms. It's more compact. And again, you're going to need a fluid head to go with that. So we've got the $65 fluid head that works great. And it's what I always use. So that'll be in the description as well. And again, we're going to get that GoPro Hero 8. So in this budget, we're spending $7,000. We've got four cameras. We're going crazy, man. So with that GoPro, we're going to again, match that up with a head strap and a tree mount to screw, a screw in tree mount, a tree mount that you can screw in. You know what I'm saying? You're going to put that above you. You're going to capture an angle of you and everything around you and a little bit in front of you because you've got that wide angle. Then again, you're going to want some kind of zoom control for that camcorder. And I haven't really done a lot of research on those because I've never had a camera that is compatible with those. I've got one linked in the description that's about $30, $40. I have no idea if it's any good. There's some that are more expensive, like $60, $70, $80, $100, dollars stuff like that. So if you guys want to look more into that, I'm sure you can find something better than the one I have linked. I don't really know what to look for when I'm looking for those. So just being honest with you. For the final budget, we're going to splurge a little bit on a tripod. We're going to get something that's not $60, but $140. It's the tripod I'm using right now. It's very durable. It's all metal. It's got a great fluid head on it. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's in the description. You guys can pick that up as well. But that is it. That is the $7,000 budget. So we've worked our way all the way from 30 to 500 to 1200, all the way up to $7,000. I hope this video was able to help you out. It's a lot of information in one video, but it saves you from kind of having to go from video to video and try to remember what that product was in that video and have to go find that video and then go back to another one. And then you get lost and you go to this video and it's not in that video. So you have to go all the way back to the other video and yeah, you get confused just like that. So I hope this video was able to help you guys. Obviously, if you're watching this, you have an interest in self-filming your hunts and it is an absolute blast. It adds another element of challenge to the hunt. And when you're able to get that kill shot on video, it is a great feeling. So I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you and I hope you can take this information and use it in the best way possible to suit your needs. But I'm going to remind you one more time that all the links to all this is in the description box down below. And just to clarify, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I literally have like a hundred something subscribers. I'm just trying to help you guys. So again, hope you guys did enjoy. Happy hunting. Hope you guys are able to capture some amazing hunts and preserve some awesome memories. All right, I'm done talking. Peace.